Understanding assets versus money. This is why the stock market has been rising. All right. Um, it has nothing to do at this stage in the game with price earnings or anything of that nature. I mean, I put up that chart on the blog, um, <clears throat> which you can look at. I mean, the peak in the PE ratio was actually 2009, and that shows it took place at the bottom. At that stage in the game, interest rates were negative. So if you give money to the, you're going to put money in quality, supposedly, in government bonds, you're going to definitely take a hit. All right, so what's the other alternative? You put it into the blue chip stocks. At least they maybe go back up, I break even, I get dividends. All right, smart money was buying the stocks at the low, just parking money, rather than buying government bonds at negative rates. All right, I, and <clears throat> so this is really what's critical to understand. It's that asset versus money uh, conflict. And, you know, if you're going to buy bonds, you're making a choice, you're going to be long the currency. If you're going to be buying the assets, you're going to be basically shorting the currency. That's your choice. All right? Am I going to be long currency or am I going to be long assets? And that's what it comes down to. So, <clears throat> this is what's important. These are some of the points I want you to understand and take home with you, all right? And then to win, we have to basically go against the majority. Majority's always wrong. They have to be. Consensus does not produce the winning, you know, winning hand in a card game. It's basically, um, we have to look at this because the, the majority is the one that is bringing that home. It's, it's, they are the ones that keep shorting the highs. All right, oh, this market's overvalued. I mean, I was asked to do an interview um, uh, from this place in, in, in London, and I asked them, I said, why are you calling me to do an interview? And he said, look, he says, honestly, he said, um, we're just desperate to find somebody who's been bullish on the stock market. I said, really? He says, everybody on this show is always saying down. He says, you're the only one that's saying up. I said, hmm, interesting, okay. Um, but that's why they actually called me to ask if, they, if I would do an interview. So I found that interesting. I mean, it is clearly the majority is, is just this way. That's the way it is. They're all on there, oh yeah, it's gonna go down, it's gonna crash, it's whatever. Um, even with Brit Exit, a number of our um, big clients disagreed with me. They said, oh, Marty, I think it's gonna be uh, difficult over here for business. I said, I'm telling you, you're, you're, it will be okay. All right, after Brit Exit, these are British companies, I spoke to them and they said, you know, they, Things are really doing well. We're doing a lot more. I said, I told you. You know, and they said, yeah, yeah, okay, we're starting, you know, we're understanding this a little bit. But the, the biggest problem is that in Europe, as I said, you know, they think strong currency is good. They haven't picked up yet that the weaker currency, you get to sell more, the economy booms much better. So, <clears throat> Uh, it's because of this assets versus money. If the currency is going to be high in value, then the assets have got to go down. Simple as that. Um, and <clears throat> once you understand it's a seesaw, then you can see it a lot better without the bias and, and, and those problems in here. So we. we